Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to check to see if there's a network connection using Ionic Framework. Uh, and this will be valid for checking to see if there's an internet connection for both Android and iOS. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new Ionic Framework project. So this went ahead and created a project on my desktop called Example Project. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Android platform. Oops, I'm not in the correct directory. Because I'm using Linux right now, Ubuntu, um, I cannot add the iOS platform. But if you're on a Mac, this tutorial does work for iOS, so you can go ahead and add the iOS platform only if you're running on a Mac. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck with just Android. So now that the Android is um, added to our project, we need to go ahead and add the Apache Cordova plugin for checking network information. So I'm already on the site, and I already have this information available to me and I'm going to include this in the write-up which you can find uh, inside the video at the end so don't worry. So copy that. Let's go ahead and add it. So now the network plugin is uh, installed. Let's go into our www folder and then JavaScript and then open up the app.js. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and when our when our application loads, it's going to check to see if there's an internet connection and tell us if there's not. So let's go ahead and start by uh, doing the following. So what I did here is first we need to make sure that this plugin actually exists. Because in a web browser, you're not able to use Apache Cordova plugins only on the mobile device. And I'd rather um, throw out any possibilities for JavaScript errors because of the plugin not existing. So now we're going to go ahead and check to see if there's no internet connection. Alright, so if there is no internet connection, then we're going to go ahead and throw an alert. Now let's go ahead and try to run this in our simulator. So let's start by building our Android project. And again, if you're using iOS, you can build it for iOS. This is cross-compatible. Alright, now that it's built, let's go ahead and install it. And then let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, there is no network connection currently in my simulator. So let's go ahead and exit this. And we're going to go into settings and enable the internet connection. And it, it's found my internet connection. So let's go ahead and rerun this app. And as you can see, there is no message the second time around now that internet connection was available. And this is useful if you use a, if you made an app that constantly downloads information from the internet. You don't want to throw off your users and make them think that it's not working. Maybe if no internet connection is found, you want to use cache data, data that's already been saved to your device. Um, it's up to you, but it, it's definitely useful to have. If you like this video tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. If you 
uh, want to see a written version of this article, you can visit my web blog, which is going to be in the description of this video. Uh, stay tuned, there's going to be a lot more useful instruct uh, tutorials and blogs to come. Thank you.